You take the east side, I'll go west. Yeah. Elliot, meet me at the west staircase. Got it. Merritt Rook, you're under arrest for the murder of Dr. Francis Slifkin. Only this time you're not walking away. I was a sheep. I let him slaughter my wife. That doesn't give you the right to destroy his life. This is clear. No sign of Rook or your detective. All right, where the hell did he take her? Got these photos off the security cameras at Grand Central. She's not resisting. Why don't you just take him down? Check out the next one. She dumped her gun and cell phone. Finn's got them. Meet him at Teru. Have him go through Olivia's cell phone in case there's something on it. Olivia disarmed herself and went with his fruitcake. He must have had a gun on her. She didn't want to risk Merritt shooting civilians. Merritt have a second home? Some place he could take her? This place is it. Well, what about friends, family? Yeah, the guy's alone. He just keeps to himself since his wife died. He close with anyone at work? Dr. Chang. He was worried she'd find out he was with a hooker. Why would she care? We both like to work late when no one's around to bug us. No, have you two ever gone out on a date? A couple of years ago. One date. He took me to a jazz club where some friend was playing piano. Halfway through the night, he played Lush Life, and Merritt started sobbing. Why? He didn't say. He just ran out the club and left me there alone. His friend came up after the set and apologized, said he forgot he'd recorded the song with Merritt's wife. Julia was a singer? Yeah. They met when he produced one of her albums. How did he get from the music business into aerospace? He quit after his wife died, and he came to work at Aerodax. Audio engineering's pretty much the same wherever you do it. Do you know where he used to work? Toned down records in Brooklyn. Very impressive. I didn't think you'd make it here so quick. Where is she? I'm unarmed. Put your hands on your head. Yes, sir. Stand up. Over there. Get over there. Gun is very persuasive. Right. Don't move. All right, where's my partner? Wouldn't you like to know? No more games. Oh, what, you're gonna shoot me? And I don't think you'll ever find her. That's better. She's in there. Let me show you.
She can't hear you. It's soundproof. Also, it has one-way glass. She can't see you. And that door is wired with an explosive device, so if you open it, it'll blow us all to hell. Go ahead, if you don't believe me. Or I could use the detonator. Conduct a little experiment and see how far you're going to save your partner. Liv? Elliot's here. Do as he says, Al. Liv, you all right? Elliot, please, just do what he says. Liv, shut up! I'm in charge now. So sit down and listen. Sit down! These are the parameters of the experiment. Olivia's sitting in a chair. As you can see, it's wired for electricity. 250 volts, to be specific, delivered by this device. Old Sparky could give out 2,450 volts to fry a convict. So this won't kill her, but it'll hurt. The Milgram experiment. You've done your homework. Except this time, the shock's for real. <laughs> Now, press the button. I won't do it. Then I will. Ah! Stop! That was two seconds. If you refuse again, it goes up to four seconds. And I double the voltage. Why are you doing this? Teach you a little lesson about power and authority. You cops with your guns and your badges, you think you can do anything you want. You think you own the streets. I don't abuse my authority. Oh, every cop abuses his authority. But the ones I didn't believe you when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was too scared to stand up to them. Were you scared of Dr. Slifkin, too? No. This isn't about authority. It's not about obedience or sheep. You just want me to suffer the way you've suffered. You have no idea what I suffered. I have no idea what you've been through. To lose your family. I didn't lose them. They were taken from me. I knew something was wrong with Juliet. I told him, we got to get the baby out. And he said, everything's going to be OK. Yeah, he was the well-respected doctor. Who am I to challenge his authority? So I didn't. I caved in, you know? And I sat there, and I held my wife's hand, and I watched her bleed to death. I put my face in a little gun in a white coat, and he killed my wife and son! Push the button! No. People have suffered already. <laughs> and you, Elliot Stabler, are a human being. Congratulations. You're not a sheep like I was. You're a man. Thank you. Don't worry about your partner. Ah! It's 
screams are pre-recorded. And this is just a garage door opener, Elliot. The door's not wired. He said that he had a bomb, and if I didn't go with him, he would detonate it in Grand Central. It's all fake. He faked it. You okay? Yeah. Where are you taking me? Central booking. Sorry. May I tie my shoe? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Thank you. Smart, he blew that building, he had a plan. He went into that water cuffed. He's dead. 